Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is the TDA7492P. It's 50 watts times two, wireless Bluetooth. So I got the kit off of eBay and it came with a bunch of screws and standoffs, some buttons, and also all of this laser cut acrylic uh, box. So I counted everything out and saw how many uh, devices or parts I had. And I discovered that there was no instructions with the unit. So I kind of had to just start fitting things and seeing how they went. So first I figured out where the top was and I was like, okay, I need to tape these um, buttons together so I can get that to slide in. Now the problem I had was is I got it to this point and when I tried to put one more of the uh, sides on, it all fell apart because the screws popped off. So I then proceeded to blue tape the bottom and that allowed the screws not to slide out and keep everything nice and easy. So I got it all back together and put the top on. And as you can see, it looks very similar to a Raspberry Pi. So I slapped on the four uh, nuts on there and I started to test each button and uh, make sure that they all had nice clear pathways. And everything fit together really nicely. I was actually pretty impressed with the fit and finish of the unit itself. Um, it didn't look really, really cheap or cheesy. Um, and so I decided that I would start to hook up the wiring. And uh, the outer two pins or speaker uh, lugs are the positives and the inner ones are the negatives. So pairing is super easy. Uh, you just power up the unit and as long as your phone is scanning, it'll immediately connect without a password being required. So that was really simple. And I decided that I would launch Pandora and start to play Christmas music and give that a listen to. My first test, I tried some cheap speakers I had. They were 150 watt uh, speakers though, so they were kind of hard to drive with this unit. Um, they didn't sound too bad, so I decided to give a few more songs a test. Now I'm trying uh, some better speakers that I had, and these sounded a lot better to me. Um, the tweeters and the bass was a lot better, and these speakers are also adjustable, so they did sound better. Now, they don't give you any instructions, so, and there's nothing marked on the buttons. So I threw up a quick screenshot of uh, a drawing I did to kind of figure out what each button uh, produced. So you had your play, your back, your next, and your volume control and power. Step up to reality But each time I do Just the thought of you Makes me stop That's Johnny Mercer And Harold Allen Now this man by the hand And he gonna lead me down the right path righteousness and all that other mother jazz in the right tempo fly me to the moon let me 
swing among those stars Let me see what spring is like on So final thoughts time. The TDA 7492P with 50 watts per channel is a pretty good amplifier. I purchased it from eBay, which is a cost effective solution for adding nice speakers to any cell phone or an Amazon Echo. The price of $14.99 comes with the case, which I think is a good deal. It's not better than a full size amp, but it does a good job for the price. You do have to remember to add a power supply. I had a 12.5 DC 6 amp, but you can use up to a 24 volt DC and drive bigger speakers. I'm going to create a 12 volt portable battery to use with this unit for use in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.